Hi, this is Kev from Rhythm Room Music School. I've got a brand new Alisa Surge Mesh kit here, and today I'm going to be showing you how to set it all up. So, uh, first things first, we've got to get the box open, and as always, I've got my trusty butter knife here ready to go. So, let's crack this open and get started. You're going to want to get out two boxes to begin with one that says rack box, and the other one that says accessories. I'm going to put the one that says accessories to one side for one minute and get the rack box open. At the bottom of the rack box you're going to find the supporting poles uh, and you know which ones those are because they've got feet on them. And they're going to look like this. So we're going to get these out, I'm going to lay them out in front of me now. Okay, so I've laid the supporting poles out like this. So we're gonna have the one with the one connection on the left hand side, the one with the three over here, the two over here, and then another one over here. It does not matter which one goes on either side. For now, we just need the one connector on either side. Um, I'm now gonna get out all of the connecting poles and uh, get them ready as well. Okay, so this is how I've got everything laid out for now. And um, I've put over here the, the symbol stands to one side for now, uh, we're focusing mainly on the connecting poles. So you've got a, a curved connecting pole here um, that has three connectors on them, um, and that's gonna go up here and up there. And then you've got another curved one with two that's gonna go from there to there. And then you've got another curved one here. Again, the, we've got the two connectors on these, on these curved poles. It doesn't matter which side you put them on for now. Um, and then that's gonna go into this one and this one, and the little straight guy with the one connector on it goes onto this lower of uh, this lower connection point of the um, leg there. So I'm gonna assemble that all together and then we should have a, a, something that looks like a drum kit frame. I forgot to mention, this is where you need to open your accessories box and get out the drum key that this will help you loosen off the connectors here. Uh, to allow you to get to the connection poles, that's, to, to allow you to get the connecting poles, I should say, um, plugged in there properly. So I found the drum key in the bag with the with the manual and the warranty instructions and the um, the, the cable ties in there as well. So yeah, I'll just get that out. Now that I've got the drum key out, I'm going to put uh, this bag to one side because it's got a couple of very important things in here that we're going to need later on. Okay, so once your frames are set up, you should have something that looks like this. Yeah, got this upper connector part here. Uh, also, you wanna make sure that the, the poles are curving away from you as well. So I don't know if you can see the angle that that is. So yeah, we've got a curvature out and around, out and around, out and around, right? So you're basically in one big semicircle. So now I'm gonna put the, uh, the symbol symbol stands on the connecting poles. So the shortest one here goes up here on the left hand side and then the, the, the longer ones, one's going to go in here and one's going to go in here. So make sure you pop this uh, connector to as far to the left as you can because we're going to be putting a couple of drum pads here. So yeah, if it's, uh, if, if it's over here, it stays out of the way. And the same thing, we want this to be moved over because the drum pad is gonna go there. So we're gonna be putting the, the shortest symbol stand here and the longer ones there and there. We'll do that now. So with that done, I'm now gonna open the boxes that say drum pad, eight inch drum pad written on them. And I'm gonna open up the symbol pad box as well. The 10 inch drum pad I will open and we're gonna put that on last. Now you're going to need to go back into your accessories box because you're going to need the bag that looks like this as it has the connection points for the pads uh, onto the connecting poles. Now that I've got these out, I'm going to put them into the connection points here. There is one over here, but that is for the drum kit brain. So let's pop them in here now. Okay, so you know how it should have something that looks like this. So if you see here that we've got the connection points here on the underside of this connector, right? And then we've got the, uh, the pole pointing straight up at the sky because we're gonna be putting 
these pads on top, down like that. All right, we'll do that now. Now I'm putting the 10 inch pad down here onto this connector because this is the snare. All right, now that the pads are on the kit, time to get the cymbals out. On the underside of your cymbal pads, you'll see one here that says 10 inch cymbal single zone, and then the other two should say 10 inch cymbal with choke, 10 inch cymbal with choke. So you put the single zone over here, and the ones with choke then go on the other two stands. Now I'm going to open the remainder of the boxes, so the bass drum pedal boxes and the module box. So here's something I learned when I was today years old. If you open the kick pad box upside down, you can just pull the bass drum pad straight out. Easy as that, who would have thought it? I've ruined so many of these boxes. Anyway. So this is what your pedals are gonna look like when you first get them out. This is your hi-hat pedal and this one's nice and easy. That one just sits over there waiting to be plugged in. So this, your bass drum pedal. You see you've got, on the bass here, we've got these two bits of metal and they go into these holes that are on the bass plate. So I'm just gonna do that now. Next, you're gonna to wanna to put the beater on. So the beater goes into this hole here. You're gonna need your drum key, which I have down here. You're gonna need the drum key to unscrew this here, um, feed that in, and I'll, I'll show you how much to, how far to put this in in a sec. Now, I've put the beater in with this much sticking out of the bottom here, because I've held the pedal up to the bass drum here, and you want that beater to be as close to the middle as you can. And you're gonna get that by putting it slightly slightly further up, but you still wanna make sure that the entirety of the, uh, of, of the beta shaft is in this part here, so it's held solidly. Now, it might look odd as well, the way that I've put the beta round. You would think that the felt needs to go on this side. However, I have read and I have seen some feedback from Alesis that with these mesh bass drum heads, you don't actually want to be using a felt beater on them um, as that, that can cause damage and wear to, to the head. So always make sure that you're using the plastic side um, up against the head and then that way you'll make sure that you uh, extend the life of, of, the, 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 um, of the pad as much as you can. Almost forgot to add, I've now got to clamp this onto the base plate. So I'm going to do that now. So that's on, that's done, that's attached down here. Um, again, you want to make sure that the beater is as close to the middle of the pad as possible. Uh, time to get the module out and fit that. So I've got the module here. You're going to need to go back into your accessories box because you're going to want to get this cable loom out as that's going to be plugging in all of your pads. So I've got the cable loom out now, and that's gonna go into the blue connection point that's on the underside of the brain module here. Uh, you're also gonna need the two little screws here uh, that you hopefully put aside earlier from the accessories box. They're in the same bag as you found the drum key in. They're gonna use to, you're gonna use them rather, to attach the uh, cable loom to the bottom of the module. So oh yeah, let's do that. So the next thing is where you're going to want to plug these cables into are, is written on the cable themselves. So you see here that we've got ride and I think this one might be, yeah, it might be kick. So uh, just to take you through the various parts of the drums so you know what you're plugging into. This is the hi-hat. This is the snare. This is tom one, tom two, tom three. This is the crash. This is the ride. This is the kick and this is hi-hat control or HH control as it's sometimes written on the cable. Let's plug that in. So there are cable ties provided with this kit to make your cables a little bit tidier, but just for this example, um, I'm not going to be using them.
The last thing you're going to want to do is grab the power supply out of this box here in the, in the accessories box and it gets plugged in here on the side of the brain right at this point here. Last thing I forgot to mention is that in the box you've got the Alesis logo here which can be clipped on to your connecting pole here on the front just to remind everybody what kind of drum kit you've bought. Your finished drum kit should look something like this. Make sure to try and keep those pads as close together as possible. You don't want to be reaching too far out for anything. But yeah, so here we go. That is the kit. Well, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, if this video has helped you in any way, please let me know in the comments. I'd love to read them. Uh, if you're interested to hear how this kit sounds um, and also my thoughts and reviews on this, uh, this is something I'm going to be doing more on this channel, so please give this a subscribe. Um, and uh, yeah, I'll see you in the next video. Thanks very much. Bye now.